What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll show you how to use the IO expansion module. I2C PCF 8575 with the CYD board and LVGL. We can use this module to expand IO, allowing us to control multiple devices using just the I2C interface. As you can see, this module can extend up to 16 IOs, enabling you to control up to 16 relays or LEDs. Okay, in this example, I will use the CYD board to communicate with the PCF8575 module. This CYD has GPIO I2C ready for use. We just need to use a 1.254 pin jack to connect to the SDA and SCL pins of the PCF8575 module. Next, you need to obtain the I2C address of the PCF8575 module by soldering the A0, A1, A2 points according to the table provided in the video. The wiring diagram will be provided in the description of the video. The next section will cover designing the UI with LVGL. I designed a drag and drop interface on Squareline Studio. First, go to File and select Project Setting. Remember to choose the LVGL 9.1 version, set the path to export the UI, then click Apply Changes. As you can see, I designed a screen with six switches and six icons to indicate status. I will guide you on how to create them. I will demonstrate with one switch and you can replicate the process for the others. Okay, on the blank screen, I created a panel, customized the size and color as desired, then I added a switch from the widget tab, dragged it into the panel, and adjusted the size and color in the style setting tab. Next, I added a widget image, dragged it into the panel, then selected the image as off light. The next step is to configure the event for the switch. First, go to the event tab and select add new event. In the trigger section, choose value change. In the action section, select set property. And for the type, choose image, then click add. Next, in the asset section, select Image 6, and in the Value section, select On Light Image. Click the Play button to run the simulation. However, when you turn off the switch, the icon does not return to its original state. Don't worry, we will fix this in the firmware. The event configuration is now complete, and you just need to repeat the same steps for the other switches. After the design is complete, I export the UI and proceed to edit the firmware. Moving on to firmware editing. First, go to the file lvconfig.h and select the font you used in Squareline. Use 1 to enable it and 0 to disable it. Next, open the ui.c file to configure and edit the events for the switch widget. As you can see, these are the events for the switch created in Squareline. They won't function according to the desired logic, so we need to make some adjustments. First, I created a variable number switch to hold the number of switches. Since there are six switches, I set the value to six. Next, I created an array variable for the state's name switch state and set the initial state to false. These are local variables, but to use them in main.cpp, I need to make them global variables. Go to the ui.h file and declare the number switch variable and the switch state array variable, making sure to add extern at the beginning of the switch state. Returning to UI.C to edit the switch event. First, delete the specified line as shown in the video. Then, we'll add these two lines of code. In this function, we need to check if the target object has the LV state check state and store the result in the switch state's array at position 0. The next function will change the image attribute of UI image 1 based on the state of switch states. Make sure to repeat these steps for the other switches, remembering to change the values of switch states and UI image accordingly. Okay, returning to the main.cpp file. As you already know from the video, I am using the CYD board with the IO expansion module PCF8575. First, I declare the PCF8575.h library. Next, I declare the I2C address here I choose the address 0x20, because I have soldered the A0, A1, 
and A2 points to GND. You can solder it like me, or choose a different address by soldering the three points according to the table I provided earlier. Next, declare the IOs for control. Here, I use five switches to control five IOs. Initialize the PCF8575 in the void setup section. Declare all the IOs as output similar to how you would with Arduino or ESP32. I have added two files, i2cscan.cpp and pcf8575test.cpp in the test directory so you can check the i2c address and test the module if needed. Returning to the LED control function, I created an LV timer function to update the LED control every 5 milliseconds. I have used this function quite frequently in video tutorials, so I won't explain it again. You just need to add the control functions here. Remember to initialize the timer in the void setup section to ensure the program runs correctly. Okay, I have finished editing the firmware. Now, I just need to build and upload it to the ESP32. This is the end of my video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you found the useful information, please leave a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with more videos in the future. See you in next time.